Now, if you were taking the bike or the ATV to work, if you could, of course, do that this morning, <laughs> no way, that's happening. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to use that gas, unfortunately. Grab that umbrella, too. It is raining cats and dogs out there. High temperatures. It's all because of them. Remember how warm it was yesterday? Yeah, we've been in the 80s, seven of the last eight days. Now we have a cold air mass just shoving right in to this. So we had 86 degrees as our high temperature yesterday. Appleton came in with a high of 82 degrees. And now this morning that heat is still building to the south and west of us a 10 degree temperature difference. We're waking up to 64 degrees here into Green Bay, some 50s into the Northwoods, low 60s by the lake and 70 into Oshkosh at the moment. Dew points aren't the best at the, right now. They're at 60, but that's because it's raining here. Of course, 67 degree dew point down into Oshkosh feeling a little uncomfortable, but thankfully the winds out of the northeast today. They're going to be cooling us down and bringing in drier dew points. Gusts will go up to about 25 miles per hour. It will be a breezy day, but look what it's going to do. Whew, puts in all that nice, dry, comfortable air for our weekend. So we are going to stay below average temperatures today. Well, down in St. Louis and Kansas City hits the triple digits once again. So not feeling like summer, really. Don't head to the beach today. It's going to be cool over there. Water is only 55 degrees on the big pond. And of course, strong rip currents, big waves from the system moving through. So here's what's happening. We've seen rain throughout the morning all along I-29. Now we're looking at, of course, of course, those rain showers pushing further down to the south. So we haven't seen anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rainfall here for us so far. In fact, we picked up about a quarter of an inch in just 30 minutes. That's pretty wild. So heavy, heavy rain will lessen as we head through this afternoon. High pressure will dominate and actually start to clear our skies for our evening, for our weekend. This doesn't even move on in until Sunday evening. So for this morning, rain weakening goes dropping further down to the south. It should clear the entire area by one o'clock this afternoon. Afternoon, the sun will come out. It'll be a much brighter and prettier day, but keep in mind there might be still some puddles lingering around. Look how nice it stays through Saturday. Barely any clouds. Same thing for Sunday. We're going to get a little warmer on Sunday too. After our rain today, we are looking at another quarter of an inch potentially Sunday night into Monday. A few more shots of rain early in the week. Then we actually dry things out as we push into next week as well. So we'll take what we can get, right? Appleton right now, 66 degrees outside. It's overcast. It's cloudy. I've got raindrops all over my tower cam. Sunset tonight is going to be much prettier, 839. Keep it in mind. All right, highs today climbing to those low to mid 70s. Once again, a breezy day, gradual clearing, clear skies tonight. Temperatures falling into those low to mid 50s. For your day tomorrow, below average into those mid to upper 70s. Few low 80s possible into the northwest was sunny, comfortable, wonderful weekend ahead of us. I love the timing, how it's perfectly on the weekend. All of the rain and showers and storms hold off until we're going to bed, thinking about work next week. And of course, we have to deal with some of that in the beginning of the week. And then midweek, absolutely perfect. 80s, sunny, comfortable. Oh, I'm excited for that. That's what we like to hear. We'll have to soak up that sun while we have it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Brittany.